Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Wednesday and happy Game 2 of the World Series Day here in 2021. And we've got a 22 box World Series Baseball Mixer second version of it. We had a 35 boxer yesterday. We got uh, Break 2, World Series Mixer 2 today, which is a 22 box edition for Game 2. The deuces are wild, as Vin Scully would say. And there's all the boxes right there. Some pretty nice stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Great list of stuff. Here's a visual look at it as well if you're a visual learner. Nice. Thank you to this crew here. Appreciate all the people who bought their spots straight up. And um, congrats again to the winners of spots right here as well. All 30 teams are in. Let's roll the dice. Let's randomize it. Names and teams. Six the hard way, three and a three. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. We got PJ on top, down to Josh Garza in the 30 spot. Three and a three, hard six. One, two, three, four, Five and sixth and final time. We got the Twins down to the Bravos after six. All right, PJ with the Twins, David with the Astros, Daniel with the Indians, Travis with the White Sox, Daniel, last spot mojo, uh, Tigers, 70% of the time, last spot mojo hits 100% of the time. Peter with the Philadelphia Phillies, a little alliteration there. Karen with my Dodgers, Kyle with the Diamondbacks, PJ with the Pirates, Gerardo with the Rangers, PJ, double last spot mojo, what happened there? I think we added some spots, well Dan Daniel you had one of the last spot mojos, PJ you have another last spot mojo, Martin with the spot that you won the Giants, PJ with the Red Sox, Charles with the Yankees, PJ the Royals, Rockies, Cubs, Padres, Dom you got the Reds, Allen with the Angels, Martin with the Mariners, Brad with the Nats, Brian Crouch with the Marlins, Carl with the Brew Crew, PJ with the Rays, Prim with the Blue Jays, Brian Croft with the O's, Chris Butler with the Mets, Brian Hayes with the A's, Josh Garza with the Braves. Number of Brian's in this break. Let's sort by uh, column B by team. And we're gonna pause the video. And when we come back, we're gonna see if there's any trades and then we'll have the break. Stick around, BRB. All right, welcome back, folks. So a little bit of trade chatter, but in the end, no deals are done. We've got Nick Jaspi just over my shoulder right here and on the top camera right there where you can see his hands. He's going to be helping us pack stack this break so it goes just that much quicker so we, then we can get to other stuff on jaspiescasebreaks.com, like the new releases. Got two big new releases today. And uh, we've got a five-star dual case break that's one of two fillers left on that or two of two fillers left on that. So we got a lot of things we can work on. So thanks to Nick. And thanks again to everybody who got into the action here. We're going to start off with uh, Valiant, which does not have a checklist. At least it, they do. we do have a checklist, but pro team's not attached to it. So we're going to go by our no checklist rule. So that'll go the team that they are currently on. We checked groupratechecklist.com and Break Ninja, a couple other places, and they're not attached. No teams are attached. So we're gonna go to the team they're currently on. But yes, that means um, means Austin Martin would go to the uh, Twins. He got traded to the Twins, right? I have no idea. I didn't know he was traded. Yeah, they traded him for, he was traded. All right, we got Everson Pereira is gonna lead things off. 52 out of 99. You think Red Sox? Or you know Red Sox? I think Yankees. Yankees. Same division. Yeah, okay, you got the division right. And that will go to Charles and the New York Yankees. And we'll do an autograph recap at the end as well. What about Evan Carter? Five out of 15. Red Sox. You think Red Sox for Evan Carter? I say, I don't know. He is a down east wood duck 
who is the affiliate for... Oh, the Rangers. He's in low A right now. That'll be for Gerardo Lopez and Texas. Next up, we got Dax Fulton. Philly. Philly? I want to say Miami. Dax Fulton is a Marlin. Nice. All right. Heston Kirkside, we know. That goes to Baltimore. Thanks, Darren. Unfortunately, the lag makes it so that I probably would have looked it up by the time you said Rangers or Marlins, but thank you. Heston Kirkstad, Baltimore, Orioles. B more. That goes to Brian Croft, who won the O's there. And Austin Hendrick, who is, I think, an Oakland A. No, I think I... Is Reds. Dang. Not even close. Not even close. Not even the same, same region. And that's a 9-5-10, by the way, which is pretty nice. Dom with the Reds. <laughs> Thanks, Darren, for trying to help. 35 out of 75. But there's just enough delay where, where we'll be ahead of you in the research department. All right, let's, get, let's grab some Chronicles right here. And Nick is ripping the uh, the Prism Baseball Cello packs. That's more boxes. What's that? That's more boxes. Yes. Oh, you're almost home. Um, how about we get this Tops UK edition going? Ryan went one for five on his guesses. He was playing at home. Oh, I got it from Rex. <laughs> Made it together. The UK this, packs have a totally different feel. Is it? Does it feel English? Yeah, <laughs> feel how sharp they are. Oh wow, that's it's very British. They're edgy. Like a very British, British. yeah. Very, very dry and very British. We've got a Jonathan Davis autograph for Toronto. That's going to be for Robert Primrose and the Bluebirds. That's to 199. There's Gavin Lux to 99. And Luke Farrell for the Rangers. That's going to go to, or Farrell, who knows. That goes to Gerardo Lopez with Texas. I'm assuming no vet common ship in this. Correct, no vet common ship per the item description. So obviously, I mean, I think most of these are going to ship, but obviously rookie cards are going to ship. Tatis Jr. number, it's a numbered card. That's obviously going to ship. Actually, this box is a bad example because I think almost all of these are going to ship here. And that's going to ship. Nice origin two-color patch and auto. Gavin Lux, 17 out of 25. He really started to heat up at the end of the season and did okay in the playoffs too. Uh, Karen Steele with my Dodgers. There you go, Karen. And you'll get a lot of these Gavin Lux rookie cards here too. There's Miguel Cabrera to 75. Tim Anderson. Brent McKay, AJ Puck.
Got a Robbins Cano Relic for the Mets. That's going to be for Chris Butler. This might go into a 130. Still is Mariners gear there, but team on the card is where it goes. There's a Mosaic Mike Trout and a Nissan Diaz Refractor. Nice. All right, we've got Prism. These are from the Cello Packs. So that's the, that's the one with the red, white, and blue parallels. Which are right here. I'm going to slide some boxes over here for Mr. Nick, who's helping us pack stuff. These are all on camera, right? Yes, they are. Make myself a little room. So thanks to Nick, because this is going to help the break go a lot faster, ladies and gentlemen, which means we've got more time to do more breaks. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. Get your orders going while we're doing this mixer. So these are commons right here. So those won't ship. Obviously, rookie cards will ship. Obviously, inserts will ship. That's a green parallel. That's not numbered, but that will ship as well. That's a better example of what will and won't ship. Now, Carl, who is a Braves fan, was asking earlier how the, uh, how the Astros do against lefties. Because he, he had a, a strikeout prop that he was going to try to try to do. We want team stats here. So as far as, I think they're one of the best teams against lefties. Yeah, like they're weighted on base is 336, WRC plus 116, runs created. Second only to Toronto. So he, he the prop was Max Freed strikeouts at total at four and a half. There's Harmon Killebrew to 125. Um, I would take, those, those strikeout props are tricky because teams are so likely to pull the pitchers out much earlier in a ball game. You know, like, um, like in the fourth inning or something like that. Oh, you took the over? <laughs> you should have waited. The Mike Trout stained glass. For the Angels, Alan Murdoch. Yeah, the, although I don't know. I mean, Braves had to go to the bullpen early yesterday because of that unfortunate Charlie Morton injury. So maybe they, they will stretch Max Fried out however long he can go. Although they do have a travel day tomorrow, so I don't know what's going to happen. Rookie autographs, Jonah Heim for the Rangers. Gerardo with that. Red parallel, 75 out of 95. Fearless insert here, Garrett Cole. So these are, remember, are all from cello packs. So that's why there's no, uh, there's not, sorry, not seeing autos. We do have a hobby box here that, that's gonna be ripped open. All right, so now exclusive to the cello packs are these red, white, and blue parallels. Obviously all of these will ship because they're especial. Jonathan India, who may be, who may be your uh, NL Rookie of the Year, this year a pretty solid season. That'll be for the Reds, Dom with the Red Legs. Nice Mike Trout, red, white, and blue. Another one for Allen and the Halos. There's 
Ryan Mountcastle. He had a pretty good season too. Joe Adele, rookie red, white, and blue. The red, white, and blue is pretty popular card to grade. And uh, pretty desirable. People really look out for those. All right, I was hoping for like a Cabrian, but it's all good. All right. We've got the Tops. Was it Tops? Tops just Series 1 UK or something like that? Tops Baseball UK? Looks like Series 1, right? I don't know what the official name is. 2020 Tops Baseball UK Edition. This is what it's called. That's what it's called. And obviously, we'll hold the higher end stuff towards the end. Some absolute boxes right there. All right, good luck, gang. So I guess they just pop a pop the Union Jack on there, and it's like British edition. UK it's edition? different parallels, too. Oh, it's different parallels, too. Like, instead of nine, you know how they have the Independence Day parallels in oh. American? Oh. That's, that's a bad day for the British, though. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good day for us. Not a, not a good day for the English. They did not like that. That was a bummer for them. They're like, this colony is about to make us a zillion dollars. But then <laughs> we were upstarts. They're like, eh. I feel like we should get some representation if you're going to tax us. And we've got... Who's this? This is Alfred the Great. What team is he playing for? Born in 849, the youngest son of the King of Wessex. Alfred the Great followed his three brothers' ascension to the throne to take power in 871. That's like pre-Magna Carta. This is really old school. This will go to someone at the end of the break. There's some nice rookies here, though, that we're, that we're running into. There's a Jordan Alvarez. We'll see him in action tonight, game two. What's up, TJ? What's going on? Yeah, Alpha the Great definitely played baseball. What about what about Queen Victoria? Kind of kind of a hottie in that time, I guess. In the second longest reign in the history of the British monarchy, Queen Victoria held the throne in the UK from 1837 to 1901. The Victorian era. There's a Beau Bichette. Rookie card for the Toronto Blue Jays, who is still a Commonwealth. Still part of the United Kingdom, I guess, in, in a way, a Commonwealth. There's Alex Bregman, 48 out of 75. We'll see him in action tonight as well. There's Randy Arozarena. Rookie card for the Rays. There's Bryce Harper, 55 out of 99. I wonder if Queen Victoria ever saw baseball in her entire life. I guess baseball was sort of invented in the late 1800s, so. There's Oliver Cromwell, old Cromwell. He was the Lord Protector of the Commonwealth of England, Scotland, Ireland for a five year period in the 17th century. Yeah. Kind of led the UK to a constitutional, more of a constitutional government, setting up parliament and whatnot. Nick, do you know the uh, the England national anthem? Although this is more United Kingdom, so every uh, everybody, but. The England National Anthem? Not really. I think it's the same tune as My Country Tis of Thee. Mm, 
God save the queen. There's Oliver again. So we plagiarized? I, I don't know if we plagiarized. I think we just put put different lyrics. We, we remixed it. Yeah. We just put different lyrics on top of a tune. I guess we're kind of like... I guess we, we kind of did like a, a Weird Al. We used their sample. <laughs> yeah. We just... Uh, Jose or Quiddy, rookie card. Uh, I don't know why I sleeved him. He didn't have a good start yesterday. Oh, no, he's starting today. He might have a good start today. There's the White Cliffs of Dover. And that's, a, that's a pretty big pretty big landmark there. I guess I think you could see it from, from, from France, maybe? Gavin Lux, rookie card. Luis Robert, rookie card. There's a Yoan Mankata, 84 out of 99. You got the uh, Union Jack parallel right there. You got Big Ben right up there too. That's pretty cool. And there's uh, Kwang Hyun Kim. Purple parallel, 42 out of 50 for the Cardinals. And who else do we have here? We've got Queen Victoria again. Forty six out of seventy five, Jordan Alvarez. There you go. Astros, David M. Getting all those Jordans. Here's a parallel. We'll see him in action in about twenty minutes. Game two tonight. We got Hawks at Pelicans on in the background for now. And there is the Tower of London. A lot of ghosts there. Did you see this? No, oh, nice. It's awesome where we got it. Oh, I thought Teddy got that. I bought it from Michael Myers. <laughs> the estate sale. The estate sale. <laughs> Creepy. Halloween two. Wait. I thought that was I thought that was a Teddy purchase. Teddy's exactly the same line as Michael Myers. You don't think what? <gasps> no, but this oh. is from <laughs> what year is it say on it? Was it like a re release? This can't be from like it's an original Teddy. Teddy's like looking at himself right now. There is um no, I can't. Eisenbard, no, Kingdom Brunel. Like he was the son of French engineer in Portsmouth. Oh, he helped his father the plan the mine. Thames Tunnel. I ate like almost all the desserts. What was one the best each. one? My stomach is distended right now. I don't look what, at it. What you up for? So far, I like uh, <laughs> I like the granola. I, I like the uh, golden gram thing. You know, where it's like a rice crispy treat. And that was pretty good. Lorenzo Cain. Who's that? That that's. I'll tell you who's that is. I like the cake pops were good. I didn't so have good. the I didn't have the. Uh, the, the did you say K-pop? K-pops. Cake pops. Oh, cake pops. The cake pops are really good. Uh, Actually, the pine bark nuggets, the little nuggets. Like BTS bark, was here or something. Like those were good. Those were really good. Yeah. Uh, BTS. What about was my good. donuts? I can't do it, man. It's too big. Teddy. It's Teddy. Too big. Teddy. Cut, cut it in half. You gotta have to at it's least unfair. sample it. You're gonna be the decider in this whole thing. Yeah, you're gonna be the one deciding. I can't eat all that stuff. Nobody's touched my pie, so I might like George Costanza's father. I might just take it home. There's well, William Shakespeare. Nobody knew it was even there. Romeo, oh Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? Any other boxes? No, I mean the rest of these are like you want. Yeah. I mean you can just no, pop some open okay. if you want to. Those are like one thing a box. Nice, thank you. Big thanks, Nick, for uh, helping us save a little time. 
We got Ronald Acuna Jr. 85 out of 99. Don Alvarez. Astros. Yeah, there are a lot of cards in this box. Thankfully, Nick was able to pop these open for us to save us some time, giving us more time to do some more breaks on jazbeescasebreaks.com. So, Keep your orders coming. We've got the Queen, Queen Elizabeth II. There she is. Everyone watch The Crown? I think I, I watched the first season. I, haven't, I don't think I've watched like... I think I watched the first two seasons. I don't think I've watched the latest season. There's Byron Buxton to 75. And a Christian Yelich purple parallel to 50. Was that queen one of, yeah, she's one of a kind. Carl, absolutely. And we've got the Tower Bridge. Another Jordan Alvarez. We're gonna see him in action a little bit later tonight in game two. Braves with a great game one win. There's Shane Bieber, the Biebs. The Beebs, BBC, that's what, that's what they call the BBC, the Beebs. You're listening to BBC Six, Group Breaks. And we've got, we've got Charles Darwin. Remember when he was just hanging out the Galapagos and whatnot? doing his thing. What was his, anyone uh, know the name of his, the ship that he was on? The main ship that he was on where he did a lot of his, a lot of his work. Trivia for bragging rights, don't look it up. All right, and we'll randomize these as one lot to somebody at the end of the break. some of this uh, Ginter here going. We've got some select baseball right here. This is Prism Hobby over here. I think there's more, more of that select over here. All right, so we've got some more boxes here. Got a mini Tatis Jr. I believe his uh, Charles Darwin's ship was the uh, the Beagle. I believe, like Snoopy. I'm going to do. It's 
So this will also go into this group right here, the non-baseball group. One of these mini cards flying around, those will all ship of course. And we've got a one out of five mini autograph Alejandro Kirk. That's pretty cool. That'll be for the Toronto Blue Jays. Prim with that one. Gold ink auto, mini, frame, and a train whistle out of fives and under. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo. Nice. So Leo Kelly, having polished off his first Shirley Temple on vacation, a six-year-old Leo asked his parents if he can start an Instagram page to post a review. Calling himself the Shirley Temple King, he began producing funny, witty, and brutally honest video reviews of non-alcoholic beverages. A viral tweet in 2019 made Kelly an overnight star, jetting his number of followers to 330,000 a single day. Wow. That's his thing, huh? was your Ginter. And again, we'll, we'll uh, randomize these all as one lot to one person in the break at the end, along with any other randomizers that we'll have to do. All right, select baseball. Good luck. There's Anthony Rizzo, 16 out of 50. That'll be, that's still Cubs edition going to PJ. That's a Cabrian Hayes rookie card, Dylan Carlson to 149. PJ has the Cardinals, last spot Mojo. And PJ also has the Pirates. And we got a Jesus Sanchez relic for the fish. That's going to go to Brian Crouch. He won that spot in a filler. Kyle Lewis autograph. Nice. Selective signature for Seattle. Martin. There you go, Martin. Won that spot in the filler. Got randomized the Mariners. And gets the two, the three out of twenty-five, Kyle Lewis auto, cracked ice pattern in the background looks pretty sharp. Red, white, and blue, Anthony Rizzo, and a Paven Smith rookie jersey. Kyle Cook with the snakes. One thirty-six out of one fifty. We got another Alejandro Kirk jersey and autograph. Another one for Toronto, Prim. Did I put the 
did I put this mixer in the schedule? I don't think I put it on the schedule. I'm not sure when we're going to be done with this. Josh Hader to 199. Christian Pache, red, white, and blue. Did Pache make the World Series roster? He made my fantasy baseball roster this year. I thought he was going to be like a. He still could be in the future, but I think a hamstring injury or two kind of set him back earlier this year. I thought he would be a potentially a potential 2020 guy. Possibly. Anderson Tejada. Prison Baseball Hobby Edition. Mark McGuire Blue. Not numbered, but that will ship. And we've got a Blue Mojo, Chris Bryant to 199. PJ with the Cubs. Carlos Correa Red, not numbered, but it will ship. Paul Goldschmidt, 59 out of 60. Fearless, insert. He's not on the World Series roster, says Carl. Daniel Lynch, 55 out of 75. Checkerboard pattern. And Spencer Howard, rookie autograph. Nice. Phillies. That's going to go to Peter Eng and the Fightin' Phils. Gotcha. They have Heredia playing defense in center field. Says Carl. Daniel Lynch goes to PJ and the Royals. Here's the second half of Prism Baseball Hobby. Corey Seager Blue, a little color match there. Bryce Harper Red Wave, 48 out of 99 for the Phillies. Once again, Peter and Philadelphia. Cabrian Hayes rookie card. And we got a Daz Cameron autograph. Tigers, that's going to be for Daniel. Last spot mojo. Daz Cameron, some of you may know his dad, Mike Cameron. There he is again, Daz Cameron Blue. Mike Trout Stained Glass, Babe Ruth Lime Green to 125. Yankees edition going to Charles. Mike Trout for Allen and the Angels. We've got a Dane Dunning, 2 out of 75. Red Wave autograph. Gerardo Lopez with the Rangers. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, and a nice Joe Adele Silver. 
Rookie Silver for Allen and the Angels. Let's get some Donner's Optic. Baseball. Mosaic Baseball. And we've got two different years of Absolute Baseball. Right there and right there. And you can see on the top camera, nothing, and I guess on, the, on my face camera right here, nothing else there. And then we'll start getting to all that good stuff back there. Aaron Judge to 150. Charles with the Yankees. Joe Adele rated prospect hollow. And Jake Fraley to 125. Abraham Toro, autograph, tiny autograph, rated rookie autograph for Houston, Houston edition, David M. with the Strohs. And a Yohan Mankata autograph, fireworks auto. Cause baby, you're a firework. Travis with the Chicago White Sox. Nice. There's an Aristides Aquino, rated rookie to 100. Orange parallel for Dom and the Red Legs. Nice Bo Bichette Hollow, the rookies insert for Toronto, Robert. Got a Brendan McKay. I don't know if he got too much time on the big club, but he's supposed to be a potential two-way player for the Rays. All right, here's uh, these two stacks, Mosaic Baseball. We've got a full case of Mosaic in the store right now. Full case, pick your team if you want to get into that. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. And if you buy at least two teams in that break, jaspiescasebreaks.com, then you've got an entry for a shot at winning a sealed box of Mosaic Baseball. Again, that's in our 12-box full case Mosaic Baseball uh, pick your team break on jazbeescasebreaks.com. And here's a sample of what you can get out of there. It's pretty nice stuff. Keegan Aiken, O's, Brian Croft. Nick Madrigal, red. And we've got a Dalton Varsho rookie autograph. Three autographs a box, too. That goes to Kyle Cook and the Snakes. It was already game two time. As much as I want to watch the Hawks at Pelicans. I do kind of want to watch this, but I think a World Series game maybe has a little more precedence over this regular se early regular season basketball game. Things we're rooting for, we're rooting for uh, Carl's pitching prop. He's got Max Freed over four and a half strikeouts. Are we thinking over or under on that? I think there was someone earlier, was it Vince? Someone was saying, he was thinking, yeah, Vince Franco was thinking under the four and a half. 
Carl took the over. And the third and final autograph is for the Braves, William Contreras, Wilson's brother, Josh Garza with the ATL. We've got an Ichiro. Oh, I thought that was going to be a parallel. It's not. That will still ship because it's an insert. That's a parallel right there. That's 11 out of 25. Goldschmidt. And a rookie silver, Alec Baum. For Peter and the Phillies, the Goldie will go to PJ and the Cardinals. All right. Absolute time. This is absolute 2020 edition. It's Tatis Jr. to 199 and an Aristides Aquino. Grip it and rip it. 73 out of 199. A couple pieces of his lumber. Going to Dom and the Reds. Is that two quick strikeouts for Jose or Quiddy? Two color patch. An autograph, 46 out of 49, Andres Munoz. Jersey signatures for the Padres, PJ with the pods. And another Padre for PJ, Adrian Morajon. 106 out of 149, right on the piece of the baseball. I think it's a cool design. We got Dylan Cease to 99. Alex Bregman to 199. Tools of the trade, Miguel Sano. Quad Relic to 99 for the Twins. PJ with the Twinkies. I don't know. <laughs> that could have been disaster, Nick. Aaron Saval, 001 out of 125. For the Tribe, Cleveland, this is for you. Daniel with the Tribe. Wow, that's a hit. I can't believe that. Ozzy Alvey's getting on base. All right, the redemption is going to be, it's going to be Frank Thomas. Absolute Heroes Material Signature Spectrum Gold. That card is gold. Now, they would, Panini wouldn't do something crazy, right? Like put Frank Thomas on like some random team that he finished his career with. This has got to be, this has to be. Has to be the White Sox, right? I guess I'll check just to make sure. Because I think he did play for like one rando team like at the, at the end of his career. Yeah, that's that's a White Sox. Didn't he? Or am I, am, I, am I crazy? I feel like he played for like the A's or something like. Yeah, he played for the A's right after the White Sox and then Blue Jays actually for a couple seasons back with the A's. But Chicago White Sox, that's where, that's where everyone knows him from. And more importantly, that's what the checklist says. All right, here's a, another absolute. That's from 2021. So this is current absolute. 
There's Mookie Betts to 149 and Wander Franco. Six out of 25, triple relic. You know, I have to say that I like the, uh, I like the, I like the hits from 2021 better than 2020 that we just saw. But I like the 2020 like base cards. There's Ryan Jeffers. Rookie autograph for Minnesota. Another one for PJ. 34 out of 99. We got icons to 149. And kaboom! Sammy Sosa. Slamming Sammy Sosa kaboom. PJ with the Cubs. Nice. Absolute fans. I know there's a lot of absolute sports fans out there. We have Panini Absolute Football just dropped today on the website right now, jazbeescasebreaks.com. There's Yoshi Sutsugo for the Rays, along with that Randy Arazureño card going to PJ and Tampa Bay. Dalton Jeffries, 9 out of 50. Autograph on a piece of his lumber. Going to Brian Hayes in Oakland. Brian, who uh, won that team, or uh, won that spot in the filler. All right, so now we're getting to some of the some of the good stuff here. How about let's pop open some Topps Chrome Black? Pretty underrated product, I want to say. I really like this a lot. There should be, yeah, there's a card that in case they're on the bottom. We got Ronald Acuna Jr., Freddie Freeman, and we got Steven Strasburg, 36 out of 99. And the encased card is going to be an Astro. That's Yuli Gurriel. For Houston, that's going to be for David M. Another encased card in here. going to be Malvin Valdez. That looks pretty sharp. Bowman first, gold, X-Fractor pattern. I don't, oh, right. I was like, where is it number? There it is. I knew it was low number. One of one. Cincinnati, dumb. Out of fives and under. And definitely one of ones. Get the train whistle. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo-woo. Nice. All right. Five star. You hope what's White Sox, Walker? Oh, the Frank Thomas, yeah. You might be lagging behind, Walker. Make sure you're watching live. Definitely is a White Sox. We looked it up and everything. Five star baseball. Actually, need some more top loaders for that. All right, first one right off the top is Leody Tavares. Rangers autograph for Gerardo. And we've got a Rhino, Ryan Sandberg, 9 out of 40. 
Gold ink autograph. Golden graphs. Folks, we've got a dual case break of five-star baseball on the site right now, jazbeescasebreaks.com. All we have to do is knock out two fillers for it, and we'll be in Breaksville. I think where are we at on that right now? I think we are almost in single digits on the first filler. We've got to do two of them total. And then we can rip open two cases of five-star baseball. All right, um, we're going to do the autograph baseball first. Then we'll do, I don't know, then we'll do diamond icons. Then we'll finish off with the limited. And we're going to play a quick round of who am I, where I give you the clues, and you try to give me the answer on who you think this player can be. We should put a, the name on top right here. Let me take a peek. There, all right. Now, this does go by our no checklist rules. So this goes to the team that this player is currently on if they're active. And I know for sure this player is retired. So this will go to the team that he played for the longest. I don't think he played for too many teams. But he definitely played for that team the longest. All right, got it. By, by at least, by, by about four seasons. All right, who am I? Um... I'm a Hall of Famer, two-time MVP, triple crown winner, two-time World Series winner, a World Series MVP, an All-Star MVP, a Rookie of the Year, a 14-time All-Star, Gold Glover, a batting title winner, uh, an ML Major League Player of the Year award winner, a Manager of the Year award winner. Who am I? And unfortunately, I'm no longer with us. He passed away pretty recently. Um, in early 2019, at the age of 83 years old, I'm I'm the only play. I think I'm the only player to have won an MVP in the NL and the AL. I don't think any other player has done that. There you go, TJ. TJ's got it. Frank Robinson. What an incredible career. So he's a rookie of the year in 1956. In 1961 with the Reds, wins an MVP at 25. And then in his first year with Baltimore at 30, MVP. At 33 years old, 35 years old, he, uh, he, was, he finished third in MVP voting. And even as late as 37 years old, when he was with the Angels in 1973, like he finished 15th in MVP voting. That's pretty good. Frank Robinson. And he played with Cincinnati for 10 seasons. This goes to the Reds. Yeah, both leagues, TJ. Has anyone else done that? There's right here, Frank Robinson. Honey, and he's hitting you with that Rookie of the Year inscription for you. There's the PSA DNA sticker right here. It's an official baseball. Pretty nice stuff. And you got the PSA DNA card in here as well. That's for the Reds, and that'll be for Dom Martinez. There you go, Dom. Congrats. TJ had the pleasure of meeting and talking with him at the winter meetings in San Diego. Nice. Yeah, he's a legend. I think he was with the Dodgers for half a second, too. I think he was with the Dodgers for a season. Yeah, Martin, I think you're spot on with that. I think he, he, I think he was indeed the first black manager in, the AL, in both the AL and NL. All right, let's do that Diamond Icons. What is 
is this? We got kind of a thicker card on the bottom. Usually it's just a relic on the bottom, but is that a piece of a cleat maybe on the bottom? All right, first one out of the gate is a four out of five Cal Ripken Jr. That's for Brian and the Orioles. Nice one, Brian. He won that spot in the filler, got randomized, the Orioles gets the Cal Ripken. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. The redemption is single player autograph, dual relic, red parallel. Is that another train whistle? Five star red? It must be, that Cal Ripken's a red parallel. Phillies, Peter Eng. Double check that, but I'm pretty sure it's a train whistle. All aboard. Whoop, whoop. Next one, another train whistle. Yes, five out of five silver ink autograph, Mike Schmidt. Another one for Peter. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Onwards, we've got Johnny Bench. One out of 10 for the Reds. It's Dom with the red legs. Knocking Johnny Bench over. Thankfully, it's top loaded. We've got David Ortiz, Big Boppy, Twins Edition? Three color patch and autograph, eight out of 10. Big Boppy, Twins Edition. That goes to Minnesota, PJ. PJ had the Red Sox too. So his bases were covered there. Red Ink Auto, Paul Goldschmidt, 14 out of 25. St. Louis Cardinals, PJ again, he's heating up, he's on fire. We've got five out of five, Dylan Carlson for the Redbirds, PJ. He's heating up, he's on fire and all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Nice little run there for you, PJ. We got 24 out of 25, Davey Garcia, rookie, silver, ink, autograph for the Yankees, Charles with the Bronx Bombers. And a cut auto, one of one, Monty Irving. That's an old New York baseball giant. That's awesome. We got we got Willie Stargell's name down here too. Looks like some sort of uh, awards presentation program or something like that. Monty Irving played from 1938 to 1956. Hall of Famer, seven-time All-Star, two-time World Series winner, two-time batting title winner. Nice. Uh, this obviously goes to San Francisco Giants. Martin Doring. Martin won that spot. Got randomized the Giants. Gets his cut auto and all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. All right, and what is this? Ooh. It's got to be a piece of his shoe, right? Francisco Lindor, 10 out of 10. Preeminent pieces. That is awesome. That is for Cleveland. And that's going to go to Daniel McGriff. Cleveland, this is for you. I don't have a... I'm just going to set this over here. I don't have a slider box for it, but we'll find one. We'll secure it. All right. What's Giants? Yeah. New York Baseball Giants obviously goes to San Francisco Baseball Giants. You know, that's why they used to call them the New York Football Giants, the football team, because they had to distinguish between the baseball team and the football team. All right. What do we
we have here? We've got Ozzie Smith, 32 out of 50. Cardinals, PJ. We have a Freddie Freeman autograph. That's an appropriate time to get something like this. I think still scoreless in this game. Game two. Atlanta Braves, that goes to Josh Garza. Three more to go. It's Casey Mize, class of 2018, 128 out of 250. Former number one overall pick. That's for the Tigers. That's going to go to Daniel. Oh, Astros are up 1-0. I was only even half paying attention during this. It's still, still early. And we've got a Gavin Lux rookie autograph for Karen and the Dodgers. 107 out of 199. And the last one, the last box of our 22 box baseball mixer. Big thanks to Nick Jaspi for helping uh, rip open these boxes to make this break probably go about half an hour faster. It's a Cabrian Hayes. Nice way to finish it. Inception on card rookie autograph Cabrian Hayes for the Pirates. It's for PJ and the Pittsburgh Pirates. And that is that, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. The random UK cards and the non-baseball cards from Ginter will be given away as one lot to somebody in the break. So let's go back to the list. There we go. Let's grab everyone's names from Kyle all the way down to Brad. New dice, new list. Right, there's some new dice. There you go. There's a new list. And name on top will get those extra cards. Roll it, randomize it three and a four, seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven times, it's PJ with those extra cards. Thanks for watching, everybody. Let's do a quick little recap. And we've got more baseball in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com. We just did those hit parade boxes, which are really sharp. And we had a pretty great break. Thanks, everybody. There's the Monty Irving for the Giants. A lot of train whistles here. David Ortiz, Bryce Harper. Rhino, Leody Tavares. There was that one of one, Malvin Valdez, the one of one right here. Kind of hard to see, but you can see it. Kaboom, Sammy Sosa. Frank Thomas for the White Sox. Nice mosaic autos. We do have a full case of Mosaic Baseball in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Kyle Lewis autograph. Nice one out of five, Alejandro Kirk. Gavin Lux, Origins Auto. A lot of great stuff. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks, everyone, for getting into the 22 Box World Series Baseball Mixer. Um, it was a random team break featuring that nice Diamond Icons box, too. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.